strong female leader this month is a founder of the UT group Students Against Campus Carry and of Cox Not Blocks. The brilliant mind, one of the brilliant minds behind one of the largest anti-gun rallies in Texas history where they passed out 5,000 dildos and sex toys to students at UT Austin in August 2016 to make fun of Texas's ridiculous gun laws. And if that wasn't impressive enough, she's a congressional aide to Cong Congressman Lloyd Doggett. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but who cares. Uh, please welcome the wonderful Anna Lopez. <laughs> Anna. Hi guys. Anna Thanks for Anna. having me. I'm excited to be here. Yes. <laughs> so I'll give you a little bit of an explanation of Cox Not Blocks, but if you want to give any more of a background and how you got involved with it. Well, you really did your research. I was very impressed. I even forgot those aspects of my protest. <laughs> <laughs> so from what I can remember, um, a court, so I think it's best to contextualize where the dildos came from because often people are like, what? Uh, so, like, according to Texas Penal Code 43.22, it is a Class C misdemeanor to openly carry a sex toy in public. How bizarre. But as of August 1st, 2016, it's completely legal and probably encouraged to carry a loaded handgun in your backpack mm -hmm. on uh, Texas public college campuses. And so we just thought that was totally disgusting. and we decided to basically put the penis on a pedestal in a way that's never done before. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was wildly successful because it was just mad controversial and who doesn't want to hang like a little vibrator from their backpack? <laughs> <laughs> um, as and most people might expect, like you're gonna get hit with a lot of trolls because this is very gun proud state, a lot more guns. Um, so can you talk about some of the biggest challenges you face, not only as a co-founder of Cox Met Blocks, but also Students Against Campus Carry? Yeah, um, I actually receive hate to this day. If I like comment on an Austin American Statesman post about like cigar shops, people comment are like, oh, give your fucking dildos out of your, out of this. <laughs> <laughs> totally obsessed with this and you know it's mostly men who identify as conservative gun owners and they just kind of feel threatened that all of these like um, I guess college women are putting their masculinity on a pedestal and using it to their benefit that's not what they're used to um, I guess the most contentious message I received was someone made a video depicting me getting shot in the head mm -hmm. and um, they also used imagery of Moms Demand Action which is a really well-known um, I guess gun control advocacy group and so that was totally jarring pissed me and my mom off to no end um, but you know basically I just I can't get scared of those kinds of dudes because when I back down that's when they win so yeah. that's what I wear <laughs> Uh, a lot of challenges, but is there a favorite part about what you do? Uh, my favorite part is that, you know, people... I, so the thing is, Campus Carry passed because no one was able to speak out about it because it wasn't really publicized, and so we really put it on the map. And so now Texas is known as even dumber as it was before. <laughs> and, you know, that, that was kind of fun. And just the fact that I get called... I, where I used to do interviews with, like, people all the way from... Amsterdam and Japan and Australia and they just think it's totally bizarre that this is going on and so the fact that we kind of put that absurdity on the map in a super unique way is super fulfilling so yeah that was fun yeah anything we can do to shame Governor Abbott oh. <laughs> yes. oh, that's... every day in my life I'm like I just want to be like a symbol for like the paper to like toilet paper stuck to his shoe for the rest of his life I want to haunt him every day that he lives yeah <laughs> Um, what is the average day in the life of a congressional aide? You're, you're a full-time student and you're a congressional aide. What's that like? So it sucks up my Fridays, gotta yeah. say. Um, I, I, so, you know, if you get dropped off to 6th Street, you look behind you and you see this building that looks like a waffle iron. And that's the J.J. Pickle Federal Building. So that's where I spend most of my time. Um, it's actually, I thought it was a pickle factory. <laughs> uh, mostly male congressmen in there, so it pretty much is. Uh, but, I mean, it's, uh, Congressman Lloyd Doggett is, is just a pioneer in, well, not necessarily a pioneer, but he's, he's always been an advocate for common sense gun legislation, and he's always been a hero of my mom's and mine, and I'm really proud to work for him because his... Uh, his beliefs align with mine and he continues fighting. He's been 
I guess, a public servant since like 1994, like before I was even sperm. And so that's really <laughs> encouraging to me. And I noticed, you know, he really does value the Cox and Glocks protest. Whenever mm -hmm. we go to events, if it's kind of like a friendly event, he, he introduces me kind of hesitantly as the girl who did that controversial <laughs> protest. <laughs> yeah, He's I'm like, your dad trying to be chill the other way right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's really cool. And um, basically, I just kind of answer phone calls and go to events. And we get a lot of angry phone calls. <laughs> still like every single day so that's always fun but yeah it's, it's a great job so it's a lot of pro-gun people calling and complaining to him i mean i'm pro i mean pro-gun pro-trump um but yeah. on the other end of the spectrum people call crying about trump like literally crying and that makes me want to start crying mm -hmm. and then you know all of those wonderful impeachment calls and i want to just scream across the, the phone like yeah i agree <laughs> i want to do everything that i can but um yeah i mean I just want to encourage you guys to call your representatives, uh, go on districtviewer.com, type in your address, and you will find your congressional district, call your congressman, leave a comment, and they will send that to their congressional aide, and your voice will actually be heard. So everything that you see on like Twitter and Snapchat about like contact your congressman, it's, it's true because it really does make a difference. That's good to know, because I complain like hell to them. <laughs> um, so I met you at a Deeds Not Words event, and for those of you that that don't know, we actually interviewed someone from Deeds Not Words last uh, month, but it's an organization founded by Wendy Davis, who's a former senator, you know, to, um, she was, she did that infamous yeah, that event, awesome. and can you tell me about how you got involved with that organization? So, uh, basically, um, uh, Lana McGilfrey and, um, uh, whom I met for at this thing called Pecha Kucha. I don't know if y'all have heard about it. Um, it's basically like a, a PowerPoint with all of these kind of influential figures. I don't mean to toot my own horn. I don't know if I'm influential, but um, she is <laughs> she <too> influential. <laughs> they, they they invited me to this D's Not Words event that they're like I guess publicity company was running, and I had definitely run into Wendy Davis several times. I'm a huge fan, obviously. Um, you know, every time I see her, I just run up to her and, and spout gibberish that I don't even remember like a minute after saying it. But um, yeah, it was fantastic. I was surrounded by great people who wanted to still make a difference. Um, and yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty. And then yeah. I met you. And yeah, I was too afraid to spout gibberish at Wendy, so I spouted <laughs> gibberish at you. And I was like, you come on my job. <laughs> <No. laughs> who is a strong female leader in your own life? You kind of took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say Wendy Davis. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm from Austin, and I remember I was in high school, and I heard about that filibuster. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd never seen kind of a woman stand up against, like, the, the seething beasts in the Texas legislature. And so that was really important to me. Um, but, yeah, she, I'm, you know, she probably gets threats every single day, but she handles it so <coughs> gracefully. And I would love to see her uh, replace Governor Abbott one day, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, what would you like to see for the future of Cox Not Blocks and Students Against Campus Carry? So Students Against Campus Carry was more of a reflexive effort against kind of the passage of SB 11. So that was more of like kind of educating the student body. I want Cox Not Glocks to expand to not just gun rights, but maybe, maybe reproductive rights. I feel like that's a little bit more apropos. Um, you know, I want it... Jessica Jin is the girl who started mm -hmm. it, so I really want to give her a shout out. She is my other strong female leader. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to expand it to other college campuses that are trying to fight <coughs> something that is often overlooked and, you know, employ the, the dildos in the way that they're meant to be employed in the <laughs> activism sense. Yeah. And, um, yes, you know, that's put, what they're built for. And, yeah, <laughs> and I guess like, just shine the spotlight on issues that uh, are important to people. So, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, last question, New Year's resolution we have. So we brought dildos to the UT Tower, we brought dildos to the White House, and I also, <laughs> this, I guess this year I want to bring dildos to the Texas State Capitol because there are some representatives, <coughs> i.e. Representative Jonathan Stickland, if you're listening, I hate you. He watches, <laughs> he watches the show all the time. Yes. <laughs> deliver him a dildo myself um, <laughs> honestly and just throw them at Greg Abbott but uh, I guess my other New Year's resolution is to stop eating pork <laughs> that's awesome before I let you go we have a tradition on the show 
where we gift the strong female leader with something from Dollar Tree, not a sponsor. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's a stupid gift, and I always have to like explain it a little bit. So this is a wine glass to say that says, "Real women don't cry; they want." Oh, that's so oh. sexy. <laughs> Like, the Dollar Tree was like, I don't like my man like I like my wine. A little sexist. <laughs> Some, like, googly eyes that you can just, like, send to people to be like, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. On the, the letters that um, we mail out from Congressman Lloyd Dodd. Yes. Or on the dick that could be fun. Oh, I love it for some Yes, thank you so much.